Hey, what's up? So today I want to show you guys a open source generative fill AI. So by now, almost everybody knows about the Photoshop's generative fill AI. And we all know how expensive Photoshop is. So I want to show you guys a similar thing to generative fill, but for completely free and open source. So first, here is the demo. So this is a picture that I want to expand, like I want to have the full head with all the hairs and I want to expand it to the left and right so I can see more of his uh, full body or hand. First, let's get his hairs. All right, I'm going to click on generate and look at that. We have his head with all the hairs. So we have two uh, options actually. I like both of them so let's leave it to the second one and I'm gonna apply it and let's get his uh, left arm back maybe a little bit oh it's the right arm actually let's do the generate I think I'm gonna have to try this one more time because the results aren't that good oh look at that that's what I call a real hand all right so this one is much better actually this one is much better now let's do the same thing with the, the left side all right so generate and here we have the another generation and this one looks also perfect oh i forgot to apply the right side one and look at that now we have expanded image isn't it amazing and we did it without a photoshop so the program that i'm using to edit the images is called krita this is a free and open source program uh, it is mainly used for creating a digital painting arts and all that stuff but it also works kind of similar to photoshop too and it is available for windows mac and linux so you can get this program from this website again it's completely free and second once you have that program installed we need this uh, plugin for krita it is called krita ai diffusion also known as generative ai for krita it's a official github page from here you can download this you can learn how to install it you can also watch a video a demo video on how the generative fill works it's it's pretty cool actually for free this thing is just absolutely amazing and this thing actually uses a stable diffusion and its models just in case if you don't know what stable diffusion is it's a free and open source text to image ai and it can have multiple different types of models for different types of image generation like cartoon style realistic and many others so this plugin basically uses stable diffusion plus its models to do a generative fill thingy in your pictures so to download it click on download link and then uh, download the whatever the latest version there is all right it's a small file it will get downloaded quickly and after that click on installation and learn how to install it i know you guys are very smart uh, installing plugin in krita is actually pretty simple just in case if you don't get it you can always just follow this tutorial once you install the plugin open the krita and then go to settings and then uh, click on configure Krita and then go to Python plugin manager all right and in here you should see the AI image diffusion uh, uh, click on that and it will give you uh, more info and it will say that generative AI for Krita so basically you just enable it here and click on OK now you'll have a new uh, option or window to the right side i'm using krita's default workspace so basically at the bottom i have this uh, new option uh, that i can also expand called ai image generation for me you can see i have the generate option but for you it will say configure or something like that or basically you just click on these little icons setting icons all right click on that and go to connection i have the stop button here you can see uh, in your case it will say install once you install the stable diffusion servers 
plus models, then you'll be able to use it. You can also switch in between CPU or GPU. And one more thing, it will actually take some time downloading the servers, actually the stable diffusion model files and everything. So make sure that you have enough space in your storage device. You can also set up the external server, but I have it installed in my local machine. I'm just running it locally and it will use more power. Actually, you know, uh, I'm not gonna be a best guy to uh, tell you everything about this plugin. I recommend you guys to read the official GitHub page for this plugin and you'll know everything you need to know about this all right you can run stable diffusion online and you can connect to your local uh, krita you don't actually have to install it locally and all that so yeah basically i'm dumb guy so i just have it running locally all right so yeah <laughs> so once you have everything downloaded and set up it will say server running and connected which means you're ready now there are a couple of other options too. We have styles. This is the main thing that you need to look for. And we have diffusion, we have performance. Yeah, basically you go into the style section and by default, it will have a cinematic photo and digital artwork presets, all right? Let's say uh, it's a realistic image like that you have taken. You want to use the cinematic photo preset and you can also change the model checkpoint to whatever you want you can actually download custom models and you can also make your own presets for different styles and things all right now if you know enough about stable diffusion uh, using this thing is gonna be easy so if you don't know then i recommend you guys to do some research on what stable diffusion is and what are the model checkpoints and everything and come back here and you'll understand everything i don't have to teach you anything and you guys are smart anyway so i'm just uh, talking too much that's all i'm doing so here i have one example that i want to show you uh, let's say i have changed my style to digital artwork here you can also change it from ai image generation option here i'm going to go to the digital artwork and now let's say i want to expand this image with this preset all right and look at that uh, it gave me a um, hair of this man but you can see we have different style it's not realistic because uh, if we go to the settings and style and in digital artworks preset if we check the model checkpoint you can see it's a cartoon style so basically this stable diffusion model creates cartoon style images only so when we have this thing selected it will give you the cartoon style uh, results yeah, this is something really important thing that you need to know. You have to match the photo style to the stable diffusion model style, all right? If it's a realistic photo, then you'll need a realistic uh, uh, stable diffusion model. If it's a cartoon photo, like anime or something like that, then you need a anime model, a stable diffusion model. So actually you can get many, many types of stable diffusion models from the internet. Actually, I think I can show you where, like this is one of the most popular website uh, to download the stable diffusion models, uh, cvitai.com. Uh, for example, this is the Dream Shaper model, one of the most popular models out there. And it can generate different types of uh, images, actually realistic to, uh, cartoonish anime style or something like that and we have this realistic vision another popular one and you can tell by the name uh, basically it's for the realistic image generation so if you have some photo that you took then this is one of the best you know uh, stable diffusion model that you can use in krita so if you have cartoon photo or digital art photo then you'll need a similar type of model there are many models that you can download actually so you can browse through and whatever you like or whatever type of picture 
you have and you're looking for some specific model then you can look up there now i have this picture i want to expand it plus maybe replace a few things here and there since i have the cartoonish style uh, model here cartoon style model basically the name of the model is that <laughs> i think for this picture this model is suitable so let's try to expand it first uh, i'm gonna expand it to left and right all right you can also describe if you have anything specific that you want to have in the picture you can also write it here but i'm just generating based on the uh, picture so basically it works kind of similar to photoshop's generative fill if you master this uh, it can become even better than photoshop's generative fill because there are endless possibilities with this so you can see i have the uh, picture generated here expanded basically uh, how many results do i have yeah i have two types of image that i can select i don't know which one i i like oh you can see it replaced the uh, home or house or temple uh, whatever it is in this generation i like it i can go more and you know if i'm not happy i can generate even further so i'm actually going to go with this now let's expand it to this side and here it is and it completely replaced this portion actually you can see yeah the houses are just gone see and this one i like this one actually yeah this one is better i'm gonna apply and look at that we expanded this image look at that i'm happy because it's completely free and open source so I should be happy and the results are, you can see by yourself, results are just amazing, right? Maybe it's not perfect because maybe the model that I'm using isn't matching with the uh, uh, actual image that I'm trying to edit with generative fill. But as I said, the possibilities are endless. Now, finally, let's replace something. Maybe this temple over here. I can specify the name but I'm just gonna generate. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Oh, now there's a house. Oh, there is a something. I don't know. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, this one cleared out that temple. I think uh, we just replace it with uh, another house. And let's check this out. Look at that. <laughs> this thing, I'm telling you, this thing is just absolutely amazing you just need to master it and uh, i think that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it um if you have any questions or suggestions you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too but again one more time if you need to know anything about the generative ai for krita here you'll know everything you need to know about this all right and again you guys are very smart i don't need to talk too much yeah i know that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.